Hey guys, Kyle over here again at Pro Edge Paintball, coming to you guys with another install video. So today, I have something a little special that Infamous just released. The new R5 triggers are in. So these are going to be the same trigger that fits on the CS2 and CS3 carriers, but these are made specifically for the R5. So these here come in two different styles. There's going to be one that comes in your standard kind of smooth face, just like a normal plenty clips trigger, and then one that has that kind of haptic knurling on it. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to go from this here, standard R5 trigger, to something like this. A little bit different style and a little bit of a different feel. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So before we go ahead and get this trigger installed into that gun, I wanted to show you guys the cool colors that Infamous decided to come out with for the R5 haptic and the Type R trigger. So of course you got your blue, gold, purple, silver, red, and black. But the biggest differences between these two, and some of you guys might already see it, is going to be the actual kind of texture itself on the actual print of the trigger. So here, I'm going to show you the red ones, because that's going to be the one that I'm going to be installing into this red R5 here. So if you look closely, you can kind of see that this one here is going to have this kind of texture on the actual front of it. So this can definitely help with when you actually have paint or if there's any grime or kind of dirt buildup and kind of moisture buildup on the front of the trigger as where this is usually your standard smooth kind of flush style face of the trigger just like kind of what comes on there mostly as far as the actual you know texture and feel of it i'm definitely a big fan of this knurling that they put on it this actual texture so this is going to be the one that i'm going to go ahead and install today into this r5 so i'm gonna set this off to the side now make some room for us so one awesome thing that plan eclipse does is they made it so that way you literally only need one singular tool to actually change your trigger and or actually trigger face and take it out and that's going to be the 560 force tool so what you're going to do first is of course make sure there's no barrel on the marker no air tank make sure you know there's no paintballs on the inside just do your no general checks for safety and then next thing is you're going to take your 560 force allen key and you're going to begin to remove the actual trigger pin here so what you're going to do you slide that whole pin out and what i found to be the most easiest way to get this trigger out is if you actually grab the actual bottom portion here of the trigger you pull it all the way forward you'll actually notice that the whole rear end comes out and then you can actually slide this back and then lift the trigger right out so it does make it in my opinion a little bit easier to do it that way versus some of the other ways you definitely have seen on the internet but my personal opinion as far as that one goes but next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this screw here that's right in the front. So you just wanna go ahead and loosen that up and then you can take that, dump that right into your hand. And then what I'll generally do next is I will literally take this here, put this in my hand and then let everything kind of fall apart. So we're not gonna be needing the original blade style trigger that comes on the R5. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this deuce style haptic R5 trigger in the new stuff. So once you actually have this kind of set in here, the way that I have found, for me at least, to make this a little bit easier to kind of grab, is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually kind of pinch between the two here. So I put my thumb on the actual back portion, kind of over those two screws, grab my actual front finger here, my pointer finger, and kind of actually put it directly in that groove that we have here. And then one thing you're going to notice is they're actually on the front of here, there's actual little holes. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. So what you're going to want is the actual hole that's going to be here to line up. So when you put this all in here, I do my best to try and get them to line up off of the bat. But if you ever have troubles trying to get the two to line up, you can actually take the Allen key that you use to take everything apart, stick it in there, and kind of get those holes lined up properly for you. So you can take your screw... You drop your screw right into the hole in the face of the trigger, and then you can just snug this right up. So there you go. Now it's all snugged up. And then what I'll do is I'll never actually finish tightening everything down or going too hard on this, mainly because you are going to want to adjust this a little bit once you actually put it into the actual R5 itself to guarantee that it's gonna be a, a good, nice, comfortable fit for you. And then I will go in the exact same way that the trigger came out. So you wanna go ahead and kind of line up that front part there to go actually into the top of the frame, everything will lock in. You could actually take your trigger pin now and lock your trigger 
right back in so that way that's done there and then from here you can go and adjust a little bit of angle that you might need or whatever you know kind of kind of be best preference for you and your actual style of trigger pull and then there you go so this like i said this here is going to be that knurling haptic style of actual r5 and then the other style that they do offer is going to be what they call a type r just your kind of your standard finish your smooth finish and these do come in six different colors of course so you have your blue you have your purple you have your silver of course you got the good red and then you got the black but guys that's where our time ends here so one thing i want to ask of you guys to do for us here at pro edge paintball is if you can comment on the video below letting us know that you watched the whole thing that'd be super cool for us like the videos that helps us more than you guys can actually imagine believe me putting a thumbs up on those videos is awesome and then subscribing getting to know when the new videos are coming out, when we're doing more, you know, informational videos as far as, you know, installs of triggers or we're doing product reviews or, you know, the new item just released and we have the new videos all the time. Go ahead and subscribe to us. It's going to be the only way you guys are going to ever know going forward of what the new stuff is and what the new stuff is happening at Pro Edge. But other than that, guys, as always, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Thank y'all so, so, so much. And as always, y'all be safe. Take care.